Que onda mi gente? Today I've got another video for you. Uh, this quick tip uh, deals with 3D cameras and focusing behaviors. Pretty sweet. Uh, I picked this up from Jeffrey Olwain. Uh, I, I think that's his name. I'll, I'll leave the, his comment and information down below. Uh, but he's a director, uses Final Cut and Motion in a lot of his stuff. And this was a cool little trick that he used with cinemat cinemagraphs. Uh, if you don't know what cinemagraphs are, it is what you see at the end of like the Mandalorian credits or basically just m still moving images with some extra motion um, effects in that situation. Anyways, I don't want to waste any more, any more of your time, so let's get right into it. Hey, you here video resident here for Online Creator Studio. On this channel we focus on making videos uh, for photo, video, and tutorials on Final Cut Pro, Motion, and Adobe Lightroom. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe. Now before I get into this tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that what a cinema this whole uh, tip comes from when uh, Jeffrey was presenting about cinematographs, which is like a still image with some motion, maybe some anima uh, additional animations and some voiceover or just music. Uh, you'll see a lot of this with like the Mandalorian end credits. Those are kind of cinemagraphs that it, it's not just taking like a still like board, maybe storyboard to the next level. So kind of a cool sequence uh, thing to learn about. Uh, I think I'll be delving into something like this in a future project as well. Anyways, uh, let's get into this tutorial. He does these things called cinemagraphs, where it's added a little bit of extra motion, but in this thing, he showcased uh, the camera and uh, something that I didn't realize, which is a behavior for focusing. So I'm going to come over here, take this PSD file, and drag it over here, and uh, I'm going to actually import as uh, all layers. Uh, now, I got this from Envato Elements, uh, which is a subscription service that I have for my freelance work that I do. Um, and it's always a pain to like group things. So anyways, I've uh, grouped them pre ahead of time so that everything's kind of there. Um, but I am going to delete this background layer because what I'm going to do is uh, I'm uh, going to zoom out just a smidge and I'm going to create a pretty large um, uh, rectangle. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I'm going to be doing some 3D camera stuff. So now that I have that there, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add an object. I'm going to create a camera. I'm going to switch to 3D. And uh, what I want to do is I actually want to separate some stuff. So if I come over here to view this, uh, this little, uh, this is pretty sweet. I can have the active camera and then I can switch over here to be maybe the left camera. Um, and everything is actually going to be uh, if I move this back, the back of it, this is the, the the top view. And right now, if I select everything, you're gonna see you're not gonna see anything because it's not actually se separated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm actually going to move this in 3D space. Um, let's go to perspective. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, let's actually start with the person, uh, because I want her to move forward in Z space to do this. I'm going to actually go to active camera, uh, zoom in again, click on the person and I'm going to come over to properties and position and I'm going to zoom her in. Now you can see that the camera is already beginning to, uh, focus. Uh, I'm going to reset this parameter. Move her up a little bit. I'm not going to do any animations. I'm just kind of like tweaking some things. So right now I'm going to have this over here. I'm going to take the light and background stuff and I'm going to move this into its own layer. Delete this random layer that I deleted earlier. And I'm just going to take this background and I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this camera move and I'm going to add a uh, camera behavior uh, for Dolly. And I'm actually going to zoom in just a smidge. Uh, actually, I'm going to go in a lot. So uh, I need to actually move her a lot more. Uh, so let's come over to building. I'm going to move. Let's move this building just a smidge. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the camera view uh, and I'm going to actually make this a little bit, I'm going to um, excuse this, I'm actually going to go back and reset this uh, position reset parameter so it's in line and because I don't want to do anything fancy right now I'm going to create another video where we create a whole cinemagraph because I thought it was really cool so I'm going to come in this dolly parameter, I'm going to zoom in, let's go here, let's actually change the camera focal length to an, let's do an 85 angle of view. And we'll go back to the dolly and Maybe we'll even bring this her a little bit more. Let's try this. Boom. All right. So I'm going to take this group layer. I'm actually going to move it up in space just a smidge. And then I'm going to come over here. Now, obviously, this is super far. So let's go back and fix this. And we're just going to go to like two seconds and make that there. I don't want to zoom in, I want to zoom out. So we come out here, and that's not too much. Uh, I always had, I had to struggle when I was creating the first time, so boom. We'll come here, and we're there. Now, um, as you can see, that uh, things aren't in focus, but we have a focus behavior. So I'm gonna go here to focus, and I'm gonna, you know, in here and what I want to do is I all you have to do is drag the object that you want to bring into focus so for this one I just want to bring this sorry focus uh, this group layer in here and when do you so that's in focus and that's always going to stay in focus until I add another focus per, uh, behavior so uh, camera focus I could you know and then right now I want to snap focus or at least bring into focus the the couple the kid in the mom so here in this focus I'm going to come to the person and drag that and so that way she comes into focus and it's a pretty good route focus now something you do have to have uh, enabled is uh, your depth of field if you don't have depth of field in focus it's not going to work you're just going to see everything in focus so to in order to make sure that it is working you do want to do depth of field and then that way you get that blurry background uh, and then it steps into focus for that individual you could take this a lot farther right um, his example he had some smoke effects and he had a lighting so maybe uh, let's, uh, I just want to add a little bit of a lighting effect. Uh, okay. So we have the ambient light. We'll turn that down. Let's add one other light there. And she's now in focus. There's a little bit of mood lighting. Um, but I can come over here, maybe bring this over here. All right, let's do this. So we have this ambient lighting, which I want to bring up just a smidge. So there's that, and then we have the focus to her. And I think the ambient lighting is actually a little too much. That way she's in focus, right? She's like the focus of this little narrative. Anyways, so that's pretty cool. Um, I liked this whole aspect of being able to change focus. And what's cool is that with this, you could actually animate the transition. So let's say I want it to be pretty fast. So if I come over here, it would snap much faster than what the standard uh, there. And I could change it from to ease both. So it's a little bit smoother. Obviously that one snapped really fast. Let's go here. Pretty sweet. That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Again, smash that like button if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.